Hello everyone, MSRNDA2007 here, and today is Sunday, June 6th, 2021 at 2.09 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And this is going to be my weather collection as of June 2021. So yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start off here my main um, collection area. So first we have my um, Midland ER50. Um, I got this May 25th, 2021 um, from Walmart. So yeah, unfortunately I can't test the siren on it. So yeah. Next, um, I have my Radio Shack 12519. Then go and test siren on this. I got this sometime either in August or September of 2020. I, I can't remember. Oops, I just skipped it. There we are. And then the backlight on low. Next, um, here's my Midland Debra 300 version 5. I got this um, June 15th, 2020. I, I did make this spreadsheet, put all my radios, well, most of them, and when I got them. So, yeah, just to make my life easier. Go ahead and do the siren test on this. Go ahead and do it on high. And then we have my um, version 5 Deluxe, which this may look like version 8, but it is a version 5 Deluxe. As you can see here, there's no text on the bottom, but it does have the old button beeps. See? Going to do the siren test on this. I got this sometime in either August or September of 2020. I got this and the 12519 for fifteen dollars. Not fifteen dollars a piece, but straight up fifteen dollars. So yeah. And then as you may know, twelve five nineteens go for anywhere from seventy dollars to over a hundred dollars on eBay. I've seen twelve five nineteens that have sold for over a hundred dollars. So yeah. Next, Midland Debra 120 version 2, or why well, it to be a version 2. Um, so basically, this is a, um, this is why it to be a version 2 Debra 120, because there's the original Debra 120s, um, from 2011, where you can edit the events, you can only edit the weekly test, well, you can't have it not go off for the weekly test, but you can have it, you can have it either ha sound the siren for the weekly test, or not have it sound siren, and just act like it's in display. But on this one, you can edit the events. But this one does not have, um, the five new event codes, you know, storm surge watch, storm surge warning, extreme wind warning, uh, Blue alert and what's the other one? Snow squall warning. So, yeah. So that's why I consider to be the version twos are the ones that you can edit the events on, but they don't have the five new event codes. The version threes, or why I consider to be version threes, are the ones that do have storm surge watch, storm surge warning, extreme one warning, snow squall warning, and blue alert. So, yeah. Go ahead and do the siren test on this. There we are. And then I got this in either June or July of 2020. Um, I can't remember. I know I, I got this, or... I know I got this sometime in summer, 
So, June or July or early August. I don't know. Yeah, I know this was originally purchased in May of 2013. Because, um, I get, my grand, this was my grandmother's radio. Um, she purchased this in May of 2013. In fact, it was purchased, I believe, two weeks before, um, the May 20th ordeal. So, yeah. So this was purchased two weeks before the, uh, May 20th event. So, yeah. But I got this in June or July of 2020. Well, I was given it in either June or July of 2020. Next, um, I have my, um, older version 5, the Bear 100. I got this in, um, December 7th, 2020. I got this for my birthday. So, yeah, go and do the siren test on this. So, yeah, there we are. Now, this isn't the Dibber 100 that I've seen in my old videos, obviously. The ones that were seeing, like, ES number 18, ES number 19, ES number 7, ES number, ES number 7 is something made private, but ES number 8 and stuff. This is the one that was in the, the old videos, ES number Yes, number three and stuff. Right, let me actually plug this one. Plug this one in. This was also my grandmother's um, radio. Um, I'm not sure when this was purchased, but oh. Go and do the siren test on this. And you can see why this one isn't in service anymore. Um, this was also around during the um, May 20th event. In fact, um, this WR100, this exact WR100, actually... Um, it got that, you know, the uh, rare severe weather statement with live vo voice from the Moore Tornado. This got that. Well, I'm not sure if it did, but I, I'm pretty sure it probably did because I think that was toned for both. That severe weather statement was, was for both um, Oklahoma County and Cleveland County. So, yeah. So, that Debra 100 got that alert. So, yeah. And then, here's my newer version 5 Debra 100. I got this in um, February 28th, 2021. So, yeah. Go ahead and do the siren test on this. So, yeah. And I can confirm it's a newer version 5 because C has the 801. Model number. If it had the um, if it had the one zero zero model number, I don't have it. But if it had the one zero zero at the beginning of the serial number, then most likely it'd be a version six. But this one has eight oh one, so it isn't. And then, here's my, um, other newer version 5, Debra 100. I got this sometime in May of 2021. I got this from a thrift store for $3.98. Go ahead and power it on. As you can see here, version 5.
Um, for the record. Expected to redevelop late this evening into the overnight hours. It does work. Let me see what stations I can get. Size of Next, um, my Radio Shack 12250. I got this in, um, well, I got this on February 22nd, 2021. So, yeah, most people think that you can't test the siren on this, but you actually can. Power it off, press the off button, power it back on, goes into a, this test mode, and if you press the alert button, it will sound the warning slash watch siren. So with that being said, here we go. There it is on low volume. And then go ahead and put on high volume by turning up the tone switch. Which if you haven't seen, if you want to know more about this radio, check out the Radios in Depth episode I did on it. Um, in fact... If you want to know more about any of these radios, well, not all of them, um, the only radios that I've done radios in depth, radios in depth episodes on so far, or all the radios I've shown so far, I've only made radios in depth episodes on two of them, with this being episode four, season one, episode four, and this one. Season 1, Episode 6. Which, as I'm making this video, the Radios in Depth episode on this hasn't been published yet, but this one has. So, yeah. Go ahead and do it on high volume. Turn the volume down. And also, the tone switch does adjust the volume of the button beep, so... So yeah. Next, and also, I got this for $3.99 plus free shipping on eBay. It was originally $16.99, but I got a notification one Friday afternoon that it had been discounted from $16.99 to $3.99. And I just got it. I wanted to get it before someone else got it, so yeah. Next. Radio Shack 12247A, and I've also got a story about this too. So originally, I got a, um, realistic 12240, but it couldn't get anything. It couldn't, it couldn't even get WXK85. So, returned it, and got this instead. So, yeah. And if you want to learn more about this, um, then check out the Radios in Depth episode I did on this. In fact, this was the... This was the first radio I ever did a Radios in Depth episode on. So, yeah. Anyways, with that being said, here we go with the siren. The siren test. So, yeah. Now, the Radio Shack 12247B. I also got this, um... Sometime in May of 2021. I got it from the same thrift store that I got this WR100 from. Um, same thrift store. And I, and I got this for like 99 cents. So, yeah. And also, it came with a 9 volt battery already installed. Which it does work. So, yeah. Go ahead and do a sound test on this. There we are. Next, Realistic 12 140. I got this uh, November 3rd, 2020. So, yeah. Power this on. So, with that being said, here we go with the siren. A 
And you can see why I don't use it too much in videos. You can see why I don't allow the siren to sound in most videos because it's extremely loud. Next, um, Midland 74109. I got this in May of 2021. I got the same day and from the same thrift store. I got this number 100 and the 12247B. So with that being said, here we go with the siren test. I suppose it'll help if I put it on LED and alarm. That'll probably help. Anyways, here we go. There we are. Are there any alerts in effect? I haven't actually had a chance to listen. I haven't actually had a chance to listen to the broadcast today. Are there any alerts in, in fact for... Oh. There's a flood advisory. Okay. There is a risk of severe weather, but there is a risk of severe weather, but it's not for WXK85's broadcast area. It's actually for KJ194's broadcast area, which I probably need to set one of these radios on KJ194. Let me actually show you real quick. The day I'm recording this video, there is a risk. Actually, actually on second. I haven't actually looked at the updated forecast. Actually, I guess it does back up to the Oklahoma City area. Nice. Wish I could zoom in closer on it. Yep, basically backs up to Oklahoma City. Awesome. Timing through 5 p.m. more numerous 1 p.m. to 6 a.m. Awesome. And then it originally just went to KJ 194's area, like right here, barely hit Chickasha. But now I guess it's up here, in Oklahoma City. Low tornado risk, up to a quarter size hail, up to 60 mile an hour winds. Like he usually is. Anyways. So, yeah. Put this back on LED. Which, I wish the 12140 had that. The 74109 does. Go and power it off, though, because the power supply has some problems. So, yeah. Well, this thing has some sort of react reaction to... The power supply that's plugged into. Because I didn't have the power supply that I have on. Sorry about that. My camera stopped recording for some reason. Anyways, as I was saying. The power cord I'm using for this thing. Um, it didn't come with it. And for some reason, after an extended period of time, it'll just start powering on and off. I don't know why. Anyways, next... HH54VP. Why oh, don't you turn the button beeps back on? I got this in or on July 20th, 2020. So, yeah. Then Vector VC438. Got this. Uh, May 5th, 2021. Um, sorry about that. Um, my camera stopped recording. Um, now, as you may notice, the, um, 
tricolor LED on the AJ24 is illuminated. And also, you may be able to see that it's scrolling something on the screen. Flash flood warning. Um, this part is actually being recorded a couple weeks later. So that so the other two clips were filmed um, June 6th. It's now June 28th. Um, I've just been busy and plus there's been severe weather and stuff. So yeah. Anyways, I think the next thing I was going into was going to be the HH50. So yeah, I got this. Let me check because I don't actually have the uh, the thing pulled up. So I'm going to check eBay because I don't have the uh, the thing pulled up. Um, let's see here, purchases. So I got the HH50 on February 8th, 2021, so, yeah, go ahead and do a quick little siren test on it. So, there we are. And then finally, um, there's my, um, my Midland 74 to 50 C. I got this in October of 2020. Let me actually get you a, um, a particular date real quick. So, that'll probably be somewhere back in October. October 22nd. October 22nd, 2020 is when I got the 74 to 50 C, which as you can see here, it's currently off because I'm recharging the batteries after a, um, after a night of severe weather. So, and also, since the um, last part was filmed, I got a, another radio. And that is the Midland ER-10. Now, unfortunately, I'm not able to do a siren test of it. Um, or a test of the siren on it. And um, this video is already getting kind of long. So, but... You'll hear what it sounds like in um, the Radios in Depth episode on it. So, yeah, which, um, speaking of, the ER-10 episode is actually going to be the first episode of Season 2 of Radios in Depth. So, yeah. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching this video. And have a nice day. Oh, and also, um, I do apologize for taking so long to come out. But like I said, I've just been busy and stuff. And also, there's been severe weather. In fact, the night I was going to try and edit it, um, there ended up being severe weather. So, yeah. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. Um... The next weather area collection video will be in September. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day.